So number plates, number plates are that one thing that help identify your vehicle on the road. However, for some reason, there has never been a standard format for a number plate. You see all types of sizes, shapes, colors, fonts, and designs out there. And that's most probably because you can go on to local roadside shop and get anything built as per your whims and fancies. However, that is going to change soon. If you did not know it already, starting April 2019, any new vehicle that is registered in India has to have a HSRP or a high security registration plate. And now in Karnataka, starting November 2023, you will have to have a HSRP even for old vehicles, vehicles that were registered before April 2019. So what that would mean is from November 2023 onwards, the police can find you for not having a HSRP. And in this video, I will be telling you how you can get an HSRP for your old vehicle. So if you are in Karnataka and if you have a vehicle that was registered or bought before April 2019, then this video is a must watch. Now, Before I tell you how to get an HSRP, let me tell you what a HSRP is. HSRP is the new standard format for number plates that has been decided by the government. Uh, it is special in a lot of ways. Number one, it is standard. Uh, so for a four wheeler you have a certain standard for a two wheeler you have a certain standard and so on and so forth number two it is made up of aluminium it's a metal thing it also has a special reflective coating so that nighttime visibility is higher uh, the characters on the number plate are embossed then you also have some india markings on top of those embossed characters you also have a unique hologram and the ind markings on the left and to add on to the security part of it there is a unique number which is linked to every registration plate these numbers are laser etched onto the number plate and this unique number is linked to your vehicle in the traffic department's databases. So what all of this does is ensure that your number plate is unique. It cannot be replicated or duplicated and it cannot be changed at will. On top of all of these uh, physical characteristics, the other two things are number one, these number plates are not screwed onto the vehicle, but they are riveted in place. A rivet cannot be taken off so easily and therefore it is more tamper proof. And lastly, uh, you can get an HSRP only from the dealer network. So if a roadside dealer has given you a number plate telling you that it's an HSRP, you have been taken for a ride. An HSRP can only be obtained from the dealer. That is what an HSRP is. And now let me tell you how to go about getting an HSRP for your old vehicle. So recently, the Bangalore traffic police came out with a indication that all old vehicles also have to get an HSRP. As I mentioned earlier, new vehicles already have HSRP from the showroom itself, but old vehicles did not have that facility. Now you can go and order an HSRP for your old vehicle as well. So what you do is you'll have to go to SIAM.N that SIAM stands for Society for Indian Automobile Manufacturers. And on this site, you will have an option of book HSRP at the top. Click on this button and it will take you to a HSRP registration page wherein you can fill in your details and click on submit. It will take you to a page wherein you can choose the type of vehicle and the manufacturer of your vehicle. Once you have selected this, it will take you to the appropriate website where you can order your HSRP. There are multiple vendors that have been authorized for issuing HSRPs. So depending upon the vehicle type and the manufacturer, you will be forwarded to the appropriate website. There are multiple websites out there like order my HSRP, book my HSRP and so on and so forth. So if you go on to any website uh, and try to uh, get your HSRP, it might happen that it will say it's not uh, authorized to uh, give you an HSRP for your vehicle. Now on the Siam website, it is possible that your vehicle could be from a manufacturer that does not have any operations in India anymore. And in that case, there could be a problem. That's a known problem. I don't think there is a solution to that yet. Uh, one other problem that you could face is, you know, the district uh, combination might not work. So in my case, I tried with Bangalore Urban first. It did not work. I chose Bangalore Rural and then for some reason it worked. So for my Honda Dio, it was order your HSRP.com. So once on this website, you will be required to again register yourself, put in your vehicle details, the vehicle details and get pulled from the Wahan database. You're also then required to put in your personal details, your address and so on and so forth. And then finally you get to choose where you want to get this HSRP delivered. So there is an option of home delivery in some places, but at least in Karnataka, in Bangalore, I do not have a home delivery option. I have to choose dealer premises and I have to choose a dealer. I chose the one that was closest to me. And then 
I was uh, allowed to choose a slot. The slots are currently running out really fast. I did get a booking ID which could help you track your booking if required, but I did not have to do anything of that sort. So you also do get a booking confirmation. Take a printout of that and keep it with you. On the day the slot was allotted to me, I went down to the dealer's place. I told them that I was here for the HSRP for my old vehicle and they asked me to wait for the person to come in who would be doing the HSRP. I was one of the first customers who was there for this HSRP fitment the, and the process was very smooth. I had to give them the booking printout and that is something that you will have to take with you. But other than that, there is nothing else that they ask for. Uh, they will take out the old uh, number plates and put in the new HSRP number plate. Uh, as I said, it would be reverted into place. There is special equipment for that. And I was done in like 10, 15 minutes and I was good to go. And with that, my old number plate is gone. And now I have the new HSRP number plate. Do go and get yours as soon as possible, because as I said, from November onwards, you will be fined for not having an HSRP. And the earlier you do it, the better, because the rush for HSRP is only going to get worse with the coming days. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well.